Mr. Speaker, I rise today in support of the DUI Reporting Act, a bill which I filed yesterday with my Judiciary Committee colleague Steve Shabbat of Ohio. If enacted, this bill would plug a glaring hole in our nation's drunk driving laws that enable repeat offenders to be tried as first-time offenders. And repeat offenders are the ones most likely to cause serious accidents and death. Currently, when police make a driving under the influence arrest, they don't always have access to information about all of the driver's previous DWI convictions or arrests. It's because not all agencies report DUI arrests and or convictions to the National Crime Information Center, known as the NCIC. That's the national crime database that is made instantly available to police and law enforcement right in their patrol cars. The consequences of this lack of reporting can prove tragic. Last year, there was an awful, awful accident, crash, in northern Mississippi, just outside my district. Two teenage girls, Maddie Cruz and Rachel Lynch, were headed out of Memphis on the way to a vacation, the grandmother driving the car, and about 6.30 in the morning, a man who registered .17 at 6.30 in the morning hit their vehicle and killed Maddie and Rachel. This man had accrued seven DUI charges since 2008, but had been allowed to plead guilty five times to DUI first. He represented himself and had five first offense DUI convictions. And Mississippi didn't have a system and still doesn't have a system to require those reportages. This story broke my heart, and I guess everybody's in the Mid-South that read about it. This is a drunk driver who should have been in jail, serving time off the road, or have re had received treatment. The reason he wasn't, according to local investigations, because none of his DUI history had been reported to the NCIC and not available to that highway patrolman. When that patrolman ran his driving record in the national database, his past DUI convictions never showed up because they weren't reported. This is shameful in this day and age. This information should be reported so law enforcement could get access to it and get drunk drivers off the road and save lives like Maddie and Rachel's. That happened by creating a financial incentive for states to require DUI arrest and convictions to be reported to the NCIC and therefore available to law enforcement. The bill's bipartisan. It has the support of people throughout the country, but in Memphis, uh, Billy Bond at the a prosecutor's worked on this for a while and tried to get laws like this passed, and we've had good response from MAD. This bill will save lives. I urge my colleagues to pass it quickly. You'll back the balance of my time.